So I'm a black town on a street yacht. I basically get paid to travel around the world working for billionaires. From the Instagram and Snapchat stories, everyone seems to think that you've got the coolest job in the world. The reality of it is that you are clearing up rooms that have just had sex parties, orgies, prostitutes, coke residue on the tables the next day, veal or livestock so fresh that it actually gets flown in on a helicopter, is slaughtered on board and served to the guest as fresh as can be. Unfortunately, it can sometimes get a bit seedy, a bit creepy with drunk people who think they can do whatever they want. These owners, these, these millionaires, these billionaires, they're incredibly powerful people and a lot of the time they get their own way. Drug smuggling can go on in the industry. If people wanted to be moving, you know, drugs and illicit substances, I reckon it'd be pretty easy to do. It's an incredibly secretive world which, like, no one really knows much about. The guests just use super yachts as their little playground. They live in this little bubble where they think anything goes and anything can happen. These yachts are always pretty mad, particularly the larger ones. They will pretty much always contain a pool or some sort of hot tub. It kicked with a gym. Some of them have cinemas. Some of them have their own spas, helidecks, and will store a helicopter on board. The cost of these yachts can exceed anywhere of like half a billion pounds. I think some of the most expensive chart yachts in the market at the moment can actually cost four million a week. You do always secretly know that the people you're working for haven't always done the best things in their lives. I've received job offers for the owner of a boat who is one of the most notoriously corrupt people on the planet. And during the job interview, the chief officer actually asked me, am I morally okay with who this person is and what he's done? And you kind of just have to ask yourself, am I okay with this? The expectations of the guests are pretty much whatever they ask for, we can deliver to them. As the day tends to go on and more alcohol it gets consumed, their expectations go up and our ability to deliver goes down. Sexual harassment definitely does go on in the industry. You do hear quite a few stories which make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. There is a, a sexual element to the job 100%. It's a very superficial industry that a lot of boats will only hire on the way you look and what waist size you are, what, what chest size you are, etc. I think they can forget that you're here for work, you're not here to be violated in any way. The victims of these cases are paid off. They're told to keep their mouths shut in order for like, bonuses or perks. It gives the people this right to think that they can get away with anything. There have been like, a few serious incidents on in super yachting that have gone wrong and actually led to fatalities. One of the most famous ones in the industry was actually a anchor chain coming loose. The chain spun around in what's called the mooring bay, which is the part of the forward section of the boat called the bow. The chain spun around and actually took a leg off one of the officers and unfortunately he bled to death and died. Basically you've just got to stay really switched on at all times, which can be a big part of the reason why working in the industry can make you so tired and run down. I did like a pretty long stint working on a charter boat. It was like nearly 130 days of season, back-to-back -back charters, and within that time we only had one day off. At the end of that, when I actually left that boat, I felt like I was ready to leave the industry because it was just killing me, essentially. You can burn out really quickly, and you can look at guys who are, you know, they've been in yachting for 10 years or so, and they look pretty weathered. Their skin's like destroyed by the sun. The lack of sleep has just fucked them over and it can really have quite a physical effect on your body and it's pretty visible. And the reason that we're so busy is because obviously we only have a certain number of crew cabins on board. You're always in a cabin of two, if not four, on some bigger boats, and if not like six on some super large ones. Cabin fever is definitely, definitely a real thing. Um, you can feel cooped up like a caged animal sometimes and personal space becomes a serious issue. Working in yachting definitely teaches you a lot of mental fortitude. You know, you work very long hours with little rest and that teaches you like how to be resilient and just kind of like, push on, push on through. Obviously there are some negative effects on your mental health. I don't really understand the mindset of a billionaire, but when a lot of money is involved, it changes people and I think it always brings out the worst in a lot of people's personalities.